Okja, which is the new film by uh, Bong Joon-ho, which is... How do you been, spell that, please? Uh, O-K-J-A. Okay. Um, and it's being released, it's getting a limited theatrical release in uh, cinemas uh, on Wednesday because it's a Netflix production, so it's also getting basically being released on Netflix. As you'll know if you've been following the news, there was a lot of fuss in Cannes about whether or not the Cannes Film Festival are any, going, any longer going to accept for competition films which do not have what they deem to be a sufficient theatrical release. This has become a very, very hot topic when the film played at Cannes, indeed, there were boos when the Netflix logo came on uh, up on screen, and uh, particularly f- f- French um, uh, exhibitors are v- pretty militant, and uh, they they want very very long windows between something being released in cinemas and something being released on streaming services. They're arguing it's not film if it's not, and I would have to say in the case of Okja, um I think you should see it uh, on the, uh, on a cinema screen, but the release is limited. So a new film by Bong Joon-ho, who, of whom I'm a huge fan, made things like The Host and Memories of Murder. The story is that an agrichemical company, uh, the Mirando Corporation, led by Tilda Swinton, have uh, found, apparently, these super piglets which are going to help solve world hunger. They have been humanely... Uh, created and they are sent out to various areas around the world where they are going to grow and at the end of 10 years there's going to be a competition for the, the best super pig who's raised the best super pig for the Mirando Corporation uh, Mija who is a 13 year old girl has grown up with and bonded with Okja who is this great I mean somewhere between a hippopotamus and uh, is it called a manatee manatee what are those things that look like hippopotamuses I'd say hippopotamus and pig. Uh, I'm letting you run this section. Of fine, the okay. Tilda Swinton has said that these uh, animals are brilliant because they eat less food and they produce less excretion, so they're very, very... Um, but they also, to paraphrase what she says, taste good. Mija doesn't realise that that's what's happening to Okja. Okja is then, at the end of the 10 years, called, this is all in sort of setup. called back to America to take part in this sort of uh, ridiculous porcine beauty competition before effectively being led by the Miranda Corporation to the lab and to the plate. Mija is not having any of this. And when Okja is taken away, Mija goes searching for her, crossing paths en route with the chaotically revolutionary Animal Liberation Front, who get involved in a semi-botched kidnapping attempt that does not delight Tilda Swinton. Here's a clip. The synthesis of old Mirando and new Mirando was impeccable. I took nature and science and I synthesized. And everyone loved it. You remember what the New York Times said about our super pigs? Lucy Mirando is pulling off the impossible. She is making us fall in love with a creature that we are already looking forward to eating. I mean, these are journalists who never write about pigs. They never write about pigs. They wrote about our pigs. 10 years in planning, on the cusp of a product launch that will feed millions. And what happens? We get tangled up in this terrorism thing and somehow we end up the w- being the ones who look bad. What I really liked about this film is that it's, in a way which is not a massively dissimilar to, um, you know, I was talking about Simon Lamsell and Carnage, which is like a sort of science fiction future film in which a world is trying to come to terms with its vegan past, with its, it, a vegan world is trying to come to terms with its carnivorous past. In the case of this, it's making a film which skips between genres, between horror and humour, between something which looks like a sort of child's fantasy and something which resembles um, an animal rights film. And yet it isn't uh, in any way kind of what, what some people have called vegetarian propaganda. I mean, our heroine eats fish at the very, very beginning. What uh, Bong Joon-ho's main target actually is, is corporate capitalism, the way in which corporate capitalism has two faces. The smiling face that appears to say, oh, we're taking care of everything and everything's nice, and actually the horrible financial imperative underneath, which is all to, which is basically looking at everything in terms of meat and money. I thought the film was really uh, well played. I thought the elements of it, that are, uh, the cr- creation of the creature is superb. You genuinely do believe in this creature. creature you really come to believe in the relationship between Mija and Okja. You absolutely uh, go along for the ride, even as the ride takes these turns into, on the one hand, kind of dystopian slapstick comedy, on the other hand, into socio-political sci-fi. If you think, for example, of something like The Host, which was doing a very similar thing. It was taking, you know, what we think of as those old monster movie tropes in which the monster embodies a whole thing, a whole bunch of sort of, you know, socio-economic issues and turns it into a, an adventure movie. I thought it was really engaging. And as it moves on into its third act, it becomes very, very poignant and very, very haunting. And 
I thought it was a film that needed to be seen on the big screen. I'll be honest, although obviously the fact of the matter is because it's a Netflix movie, more people are going to see it at home. But however you see it, I think you should see it. It was I thought it was really ingenious and surprisingly moving and affecting. And as with all Bong Joon-ho's film, uh, films, a movie which cross sort of breeds these generic traits. It's interesting. The script is co-written by John Ronson, who, of course, you know as well. Our friend John. Bong Joon-ho came up with the story, got a translation of it, gave it to John Ronson and said, work on the uh, English language characters to, you know, change them as you would, you know, to, to make them. And actually the script does in many ways sort of genetically put together Bong joon Ho's sensibility and John Ronson's sensibility. I enjoyed it very much. It's called Okja. It has a limited theatrical release from Wednesday.